think that I'm like you know menacing I I gang bang and you know it comes with being put over by the cops every now and then getting arrested for stuff you didn't do being accused when you go in stores security following you all that stuff black life matter because it's life you know black white anybody life is life and we it's because we've been depicted as a race that's lower than everybody else we're still people we are valuable to everybody else. No matter what other people view of us, we're still valuable people. How do you feel about your community? I feel that my community really needs help. I believe they need, I believe my community needs educational help, physical help, and also mental help. Define nigga, and what does it mean to you? At first, when I was a little, nigga was a term that I never used going to a black school where everybody says nigga kind of fell into the slot of saying it too because it's like second nature. To me, I'm a victim of, not a victim, but I just, it just became part of my language, you know. I don't like using it, but it's like, I keep using it. So, but later in the future, I want to stop using the word. Do you feel different about other races saying? No, I don't. You call me a nigga, you like, what's up? When you think about the educational system, have districts and so these districts kind of play a part in how our races obtain the level of education and it's really affecting us because um, people of color have low test scores and their educational level isn't where it's, it needs to be next to people in Beverly Hills or people who are above that that mentality, they really get the education they need in order to succeed, and it's like, we're kind of left with the leftovers. How do you feel about the shooting and death of Mike Brown? I thought, you know, it's wrong for anyone to get shot for for no reason. There's really no reason that he got, that he was killed. It's just, it's what the world's come to. It's just what the world's come to. I think it was more, I think that it was more of a race thing, and when you think about it, the guy, uh, Mark Brown was un unarmed, and he didn't have a gun, and then, you know, I guess he tried to reach for the gun, and, you know, the police was like, nah, so I guess he shot him too many times, you know, uh, I mean, it, it was really unfair how... He did he had his hands up and it was, really wasn't fair to really show him that he was, you know, he was innocent, you know, that he surrendered to the authorities and it really wasn't fair that he really he didn't get a chance to explain himself, you know, and they had the, you know, some people had the nerves to say, he, oh, he was actually a bad guy, you know, just to put some dirt on him. So I, I really think that was highly disrespectful. It really had to do nothing with the case, honestly. When I, when I think about like around like the 50s, you know, around the days of Martin Luther King and like the civil rights movement, people were hungry for civil rights. You know, there was, they actually wanted to prove that they were human. So now that we progress in life, I, I see that these people, like their reason for living is, is kind of like dwindling down to, to nothing. So, there, I believe that there is a solution to bring people of color back to where they need to be, which is human and educated and have a positive mindset and be content with where they, where they are, but show that they can't improve you know, the way they're living. 
Well, I love being back. I wake up every day like I'm so blessed to be back. I'm so blessed to be the most oppressed race in history because that builds me up. It makes it makes me like know that no matter where I go, there's probably going to be oppression, and it like it teaches me, it molds me to be able to you know oppose the oppression and use it to build me. Build me up.